You're going to want to go to www.volumio.org. Okay, and then you're going to want to go ahead and click on download. And this is where we're going to go to download the Volumio image to flash onto our micro SD card. And then you see here the different versions of Volumio. And we're going to want to select Raspberry Pi because that is what we're going to be using for our project. So go ahead and click on download. And then go ahead and click on save. So now you're going to want to scroll down in the page and we're going to download one additional thing, which is the utility we're going to use to flash the Volumio image onto our micro SD card. So go ahead and scroll down until you come to the section where it says flash it. And depending on whether you have Mac or Windows, you're going to select whatever you have. So in my case, I have Windows and you're going to want to download and extract the Win32 disk imager. So here we see that it's asking us to download. Go ahead and click save. It's a very small utility, therefore it should download really quick. Okay, now you're going to want to open your file explorer and go to your downloads folder. So the first thing we we'll want to do is install the 132 disk imager utility. So double click on that to install. So go ahead and just click accept, next. Go ahead and create a desktop shortcut, next. And click install. This should install really quick. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck these two and just click finish and we'll come back to it later. The next thing we're going to have to do is extract the Volumio image as it is contained within the zip file. So go ahead and click on the Volumio.zip file and hit extract and say extract all. And go ahead and extract to the downloads folder. And here we see it created a directory called Volumio and then also has the image file that we're going to use to flash our micro SD card. So now we're going to want to minimize all our windows and go to the desktop. On the desktop, you should see the Win32 Disk Imager. Go ahead and double click on that. And here is the Win32 Disk Imager and we're going to go ahead and select our image file. So under the downloads folder, go ahead and go into the Volumio folder and select the .img image file and click open. Now that we selected our image file, we're going to go ahead and click on the drive that corresponds to our micro SD card. In my case, it's H drive, but you're going to go ahead and select whatever drive your micro SD card happens to be on on your system. So in my case, it's H. And now we're going to go ahead and click on the right button down below. And you're going to get a warning that it's going to wipe everything on the micro SD card. Go ahead and say yes. Okay, so simple as that. We have just flashed our micro SD card with the Volumio image and the Volumio operating system and software is now on our micro SD card and we can go ahead and put it back on our Raspberry Pi so that we can boot it up and start up Volumio. Go ahead and click OK and then exit. Okay, so at this point, you're going to want to take your Hi-Fi DAP and your micro SD card where you loaded Volumio and you're going to want to insert it in the bottom micro SD port here. Okay, so your Hi-Fi DAP should look like this here. So this last step is required, although this Hi-Fi DAP and Volumio both support using Wi-Fi, you initially have to use an Ethernet cable to connect it to your network, and then you can set up the Wi-Fi from there. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna go to your favorite device, whether it be an iPad, your laptop, or PC, and you're gonna wanna open up your favorite web browser. Now, quick thing, if you're on Mac, you're gonna wanna avoid using Safari as I had problems using Safari as it didn't display quite right. Okay, so you're gonna wanna type in http colon slash slash volumio dot local. So this is going to take us to the Volumio setup screen and Volumio is going to act as our web-based audio player. So with Volumio, you'll be able to set up the Spotify streaming service and access music from there, as well as load your favorite MP3 and flag files on a USB device. And you'll just connect that USB device to your Hi-Fi DAP and Volumio will be able to read your MP3 and flag files. So go ahead and select your language. In my case, it's English. Click Next. Then you want to select a name for your device. And this is how you also be able to access it over your local network. In my case, I'm going to keep it as Volumio. Click Next. So our particular Hi-Fi DAP uses the I2S DAC. We're going to want to make sure that it says yes here. And specifically, our Hi-Fi DAP uses the IQ Audio DAC Plus. So this should automatically be detected, but just in case, make sure to verify that that's selected. Go ahead and click Next. So on this screen, you'll be able to set up your Wi-Fi settings. And I do recommend setting up Wi-Fi just because you'll be able to connect your DAP anywhere in your house. So you're going to want to go ahead and click connect on your Wi-Fi network and then enter the corresponding password. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click next. 
Okay, so now you're at the music screen and you can go ahead and plug in your USB drive at this point containing your MP3, your FLAC files, onto one of the USB ports on your Hi-Fi DAP. Now you won't see anything pop up here, however it will be connected. Now you'll want to click add a new drive if you have a network drive where you're hosting all your music files. Go ahead and click next. So here you go, congratulations, you've just installed Volumio. Now Volumio is absolutely free. Of course on this screen, you're given the option to donate some money if you wanted to. You don't have to. Uh, go ahead and click done.